Shopping for a lot of families already hard to believe, but in the second largest school district in Oregon, there's a big change when it comes to what students can wear. Yeah, Lisa Balick live in Salem looking into a change in that district's dress code policy. Lisa? Yes, here in Salem, teachers and staff are no longer have to be such intense fashion police here at the schools, judging whether or not a student's clothing is appropriate. Getting teens to come to class can be a challenge for schools. It was made even tougher in the Salem Kaiser District with the dress code that used to be in place. I've seen just a teacher call a student through the hall in front of everybody and then tell them how inappropriate their outfit is, and it was really embarrassing. No bra straps showing, no tank tops allowed. Girls especially felt the district dress code was body shaming them. One reason they lobbied the school board to make a change. When a student gets dress coded, it makes them feel ashamed, hurt, small, not relevant, ugly, not loved, and embarrassed. In my experience, getting dress coded is a big deal. The board listened and now just put in place a new dress code for students. Ripped jeans or shorts, fitted pants, hooded sweatshirts, all allowed, but no hoods on in the classroom. Hats can also be worn inside school, as long as your full face shows. Students still need to wear a shirt with a front, back, and fabric under the arms, along with pants, shorts, or a skirt, and shoes. Private body parts still must be covered up. Gang-affiliated clothes, anything with drugs, alcohol, or violence is still banned. School staff is glad they don't have to be the clothing police so much anymore, but it will be an adjustment. I think that it's going to be a change for the adults, um, that we are going to have to, to uh, relax a little bit. The district says it's the first time it's changed the dress code in six years. If our goal is to make sure that we have students in, our, in seats, then then we can't let what they're wearing be a detractor of keeping them from getting there. And good news for parents of little ones as well as the big ones here. Pajamas are just fine. Better they wear them here than be still home in bed in them. Live in Salem, Lisa Valick, Point Six News. Yeah,